Kevin from Access New York, and today I'm going to teach you how to program an application using the Robotique Risk Camera. The new Risk Camera from Robotique offers an all-in-one vision system that integrates right to the end of arm tooling of the UR and is all programmed through the UR Polyscope. This video is going to show how to program the Risk Camera. This assumes that you have already installed the hardware as well as download the UR CAP file. Downloading the UR CAP file will provide a template program from Robotique. This template program is a good starting point for programming your first vision application using the wrist camera. Looking at the installation tab and scrolling down to camera, we can see that our vision system is up and running with no errors. If we click on the camera tab, we can see a live image of our part. For this application today, we're going to be picking up a fairly recognizable part with very unique features one side to the next and it is relatively flat based on the width of the part. Our first step is to create a feature point. So we will create a new feature point and rename it to something meaningful. Here we're going to call it snapshot position. We're going to make this a variable point and we're going to set this point. Since it's a variable point, it will get rewritten by the UR cap file later on in the program, so it's not completely necessary where it is in space currently. Now that we've created our point, we can go to the camera tab and go to snapshot positions, select the point we just made, and press define. This opens a Robotique wizard which will guide us through the calibration process. The first step will be to def define the actual snapshot position. This is where we're rewriting the variable position we just made. We want to ensure that our part is greater than one of the grid squares. Here we're about two and a half grid squares, so that's a good position. We also want to ensure that the robot can see all of the parts that may show up in the work area. We have done that. We're going to save this position. Our next step is to place the calibration board and to run calibration. So now we've placed the calibration board included with the kit and we're going to press calibrate. The calibration sequence will automatically happen and it'll take a few minutes. Now that the robot has finished calibrating, the wizard is asking us to, to confirm that all of its identified outlines are correct. Here we see all of our outlines line up with the calibration board. We press accept. Now that we have our snapshot position defined, we're going to teach our object. We're going to select the snapshot position that we have defined. And now we're going to teach the part. We're going to move this at 90 degree increments from 0 to 270 degrees to teach the part in four ways. We're going to start by drawing a box around the part of interest and we're going to select teach. We can click to view the object that was just found. You see we have a green outline around the part with good contrast against the background. Now we're going to move on to our second image where we rotate the part 90 degrees. Now that we've taken all four pictures, the wizard's going to ask us to confirm that the outline contours of the part match what we're looking for. Here we're going to press accept and we're going to scan the part to generate the object model. This will take a few minutes while the robot moves to nine different positions and takes nine images of the part. Now that our object model has been created, 
we can test locating the object. This will help us determine our detection threshold. We will get back a score 0 to 100 percent. Here we have 94.8 percent detection score. So we can increase our threshold. I'm going to do 85 percent. Next we're going to define position. Once you define the position, you may not move the part. Once the position has been defined, save and finish. You can set your relative positions by either using the free drive or by using the move functions. Here I'm going to free drive the robot until it gets close and then refine with the move keys. So I have my approach position. And I have my pick position. I'm going to create an exit position. And now I'm going to create an absolute place position. This place position no longer has to be relative to the feature point because this is where you would place to the next sequence in your application. Now that we have all the positions created, I've placed some parts in the work area and I can go ahead and run the program. So now with very minimal setup, the robot is picking with the assistance of vision.